My name is Dawid Ephraim, uh, but I also go by the name of David Dearnay Yerjo, which is my name uh, as a Canadian. And um, my artistic name, which is the name that is the most known for most, it's Monk.E, Monk-E, the Monk of Energy. Um, I started doing graffiti, uh, I was 14 years old. I started doing rap music, I was 14 years old when I discovered the the hip-hop movement that was growing in the United States. I come from Canada, from the French-speaking side of Canada, which is the east side, which is the East Coast American French that I speak, which is my first language. Then I've learned English because I come from Montreal, which is a bilingual city. And I also learned Spanish because I lived for six years uh, in Mexico also. So since I'm 14, I'm, a, I'm an artist, developing artist. Um, when I was 19, I had my first chance to have international opportunity. I went in Brazil to represent Canada as a, as a mural artist. And since then, I haven't had a job or um, a, a, no one hiring me. I'm my own boss since I'm 19 years old. I'm 36 now in my mid-30s. I've been touring the world for the past 17 years. I have a little bit more than a thousand murals maybe like 1,100 murals um, in 23 different countries. Um, I love to paint uh, on skin, on walls, on cars, on canvases, on clothing. Uh, I do music, I'm, um, I write poetry, I publish book. I'm the producer of all of my album, which has 14 albums now thus far. So basically I've, I've been producing art and been involved with creativity since forever. Um, what is relating me to Uganda and to East Africa, it's some specific events that happened. Uh, in 2011, 12, and 13, I was Canadian champion of improvised rap in Canada. And I'm part of a community called End of the Week, which is EOW, which is a community of freestyle rap uh, and of person who preserve hip hop um, in 16, 20 different countries now. The way it works is that there's gathering from which uh, the national, Yeah, it's okay. So the way end of the week works is that um, there is gathering in those 16, 20 different countries uh, to find who's the champion uh, of that nation. And then there's world finals that happened. Uh, so in 2013, the world final were in Kampala. So it was my first time in Africa ever. After touring a lot in South America and in Europe, now I was finally uh, in Africa for the first time. It was five years ago. And um, five years ago, I started meeting uh, influential artists, inspiring artists, starting doing collaboration. I came back the next year. Uh, just give me a second, that's a bit... <sighs> okay. Um, so basically from, from coming for the first time uh, in Uganda, I met a lot of influencing artists uh, in the graffiti scene, in the photography scene, in the fashion scene. Uh, start being really inspired by, by what Uganda had to offer. Like the vibe is amazing, the people is amazing. Uh, the art and the creativity is like boiling. So um, as a person who feed on creativity uh, and always go back to different places I visit, I was always, I've been to Mexico 15 times, going back and forth, uh, sharing with people from different states, painting and doing music. So now I really feel that I was called um, to come meet uh, East Africa. So from Kampala, I start uh, going to Nairobi, to Kigali, and knowing the countries and the communities that are around uh, Kampala, as Kampala as my main base uh, from where I was jumping back and forth from America and Europe. And this time is my, uh, last time I came in was in November, last November, it was my fourth time in Uganda. And um, basically, um, Actually, on, like to go even back further than that, on my third time that I was here, it's a year ago, uh, I was here to shoot videos for my seventh uh, solo album with uh, an artist called Papa Shatit, which is a, a director that I really enjoy here in Kampala. And basically three days after I arrived, uh, Radio passed away. Um, I never met Radio before. I knew him only through songs and through the love that people had for him. But I saw how the country was changed. Like the country was completely changed from like, from one day to the other, the news being spread. Uh, the country was in standby, people in the street. Um, all the news, all the shopping center, everywhere was all radio, radio was everywhere. Um, so this is where I really started uh, 
knowing the influence and the magnetism that this brother had on the, on the demography, on the land. So basically, I come back this time around. One year, la one year later, like 10 months later, uh, we're in November. I'm eating at Kepasa, and uh, someone recognized me uh, while I'm eating, come talk to me, and he's expressing that he's opening a new, a new place. And it would be important for Kampala to have a tribute wall for radio. So that's what I did. I, did, uh, I, sp I spent my prayers into um, having this vision of radio land on the wall. And I think that that mural became viral. From what I understand, it became viral in Uganda. A lot of people, a lot of celebrities took pictures with it. A lot of people shared it and shared deep thought in relation to this painting. So after the success that it had, I met, I met Chameleon and he invited me at the Saba Saba concert he was having at the stadium to paint live his portrait. Um, and on and on, I still, I'm still to this day meeting highly influential people. Like recently, um, I had a chance to have a meeting with Eddie Kenzo also. I'm gonna be collaborating on something with him too. I'm producing a full album of music completely produced by uh, Kampalan producers and all the featureings are Ugandan featureings. So I'm really, and I'm continuing to paint, to draw, and to write poetry. I even wrote a full book. I wrote a full book in my journey, um, my last journey in November in uh, Kampala and in Kigali. I wrote 20 poems, and I did a lot of body painting on models. So now that it's a book that is gonna be printed, um, which include my relation to womanhood, but also my relation to East Africa, my relation to art, to poetry, and to body painting. Um, so I don't know, I feel that's a good introduction on my relation, who am I, and my relation to Uganda, and why am I so active and um, followed by Ugandan people now. I think that painting of um, Radio Mose, then the painting of Chameleon, then the painting of Bobby Wine, um, brought a lot of uh, attention to, to what I do artistically. And as a response to it, I decided to come back to Uganda uh, to spend more time this winter, uh, which is almost the end of this time. I'm still here for like two weeks, uh, but I'll be back. I'll be back cyclically to East Africa. Um, that's it, man. Art is amazing. Uh, much gratitude to everyone having the hospitality and uh, the love necessary for me to develop and to grow as an artist and as a human being in East Africa, I'm grateful for it.